Dobrodošli, and welcome to Michelle's Slovenska Kuhinia. Today, we're going to be taking a journey on how to make these delicious traditional Slovenian donuts. I'm so excited. Why don't we just get started? So first things first, we need to prepare the yeast. And now we're going to begin by measuring out all of our ingredients and combining it all together, starting with our flour. How much? One, two, ah, three. Yeah. So now that we've got all of our ingredients together, we're going to mix everything together for 20 to 25 minutes. And about halfway through, we're gonna stop and have a peek to see how the dough is doing. As you can see, we still need a bit more flour. So we add a tablespoon at a time, and then we continue mixing. You know when the dough is ready, when it starts to separate from the bowl, you'll also want your dough to be stretchy, smooth, and elastic. So this next step will require us to use a kitchen scale. If you don't have one, I do strongly suggest maybe investing in one. It's always nice to have crofe that all look the same. Uh, so we weigh ours and ours are usually about 60 grams each. So next, mommy's gonna show us a technique on how to roll and make the uh, crofe. Okay, so did you catch that? <laughs> Just kidding. So let's slow that down. So what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna be pulling from each side and into the center, and then you're gonna pinch it all together, and then roll it up. And then we're gonna continue doing this with all the pieces that we weighed to uh, 60 grams until we're done, and we're just gonna let them rest. We're going to want them to double in size, and then we're going to heat up our oil and fry up these delicious krofi. Now it's time to heat up our sunflower oil. Uh, Mommy says to use two fingers to measure, so that's about two and a half inches in a deep pot. Not sure if your mommy instead of mama do the same thing, but my mom likes using the kohanitsa to test the oil. I prefer to use a kitchen thermometer. Temperature should be between 150 and 165. We generally like to uh, stick to the 150 degree mark. And once we place our donuts into the oil, we put the uh, pot lid on for the first three minutes and then we turn them over and if you need, you can use a wooden dowel or any type of utensil to help keep them from rolling back over to the other side. And once you flip them over, you don't need to put the lid back on. You'll want to cook them for a little bit less, two to three minutes, and then they'll be ready to be removed from the hot oil and then placed on a tray that's been lined with paper towel. And there it is, a perfectly delicious traditional Slovenian donut with the white line in the middle. I haven't even taken a bite yet and I can already taste it. Just look at that center. They are absolutely perfect. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I look forward to seeing you again next week when I share another delicious recipe from my Slovenska Kuhinja. Until then, na zdravje and dobrotek. 
Adiós.